Now though, in travel, we are going to the base of the Coromandel. Debbie's been checking out Waihi and Waihi Beach in the Hauraki District. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I mean, Waihi's known for its gold mining history, silver mining history. And if you want to get involved and see more about that, that you can do the Discovery Centre in Waihi, which is great. Martha Mine does tours as well. Um, I didn't do those things this time because I thought, I'll let you discover those yourself. I found a really great kids activity in Waihi and some really great places to eat. Okay, well. let's, let's start then. I do like food, but let's start with the kids activity. Okay, well this is, I love this. It's, it's taking me right back to my childhood. It's all about Lego and Lego techniques. Okay, so it's called Spikes, Bricks and Models. So it's mostly static displays. Basically it's one guy's absolute obsession with Lego and he's taken it to a whole new level. He's put his whole collection on display. So my, uh, Spike actually takes you around and gets everything going for you, gets the train wow. room going. Yeah, it's, they're really intricate and really detailed, so you'll absolutely love that. Spike is passionate about his Lego sets. He has collected about 630 over the years. He estimates there's about 800,000 pieces uh, in this collection. So it's just different rooms. There's a crane's room. Then there's the remote control car's room, which we absolutely oh, love. So you do awesome. get to have a go. Is it just in his house? Well, it's at a house. So he's actually claimed this whole property for this. Whoa. Yeah, so you can see how much effort he's put into it. A lot of it is looking. You can see all the characters there. The kids saw all the Adventure Time characters, the Lego movie characters. And I made the cardinal rule, you don't say glue to a Lego person. No Do not way. say glue. No, no, because he's an absolute purist. He loves his Lego and you need to be able to take it apart if you want to as well. That sounds cool. Yeah. Oh, that's people who are into Lego are really into Lego. Yeah, and you know what? It really inspired the kids. So when we got home afterwards, guess what comes out? Yeah, the Lego, you know, Lego to be left Lego. everywhere. Um, so is it open on the weekends? It's open uh, on the weekends. So he's open Wednesday through Sunday usually, 10 till 3 during the day. Uh, school holidays, public holidays between 10 and 4, so it extends the time that he's open then. Good. So, okay, so yeah. kids are sorted out. Let's talk about places to eat. Okay, so we drove 10 minutes down the road to Waihi <laughs> Beach, so there's some really great places there. I had it recommended to me a place called the Secret Garden. So it's a Balinese inspired garden oh. and it's a retreat from the world. It was closed when we were there. Over winter, the, the hours are a bit more sporadic because it's out in the garden of course but it has been highly recommended to us by several people so the secret garden just off the main drag of Waihi Beach I'm going to check that out in the summertime good but you did not go there mm -mm. so where did you go for lunch oh well we went to Flat White which was recommended to me another one oh, I've been so, there yeah. ah yeah right on the beach on Waihi Beach so it is absolutely gorgeous there very beachy very simple the staff are absolutely gorgeous I had a potato rosti stack which was served with avocado and mushroom and rocket that and pesto. Good. Yeah, absolutely so tasty. And mum had a uh, creamy cabanara pasta. So our main comment was so tasty, so homemade. So we absolutely loved it. I can see in summertime, I'm gonna have to go back there because the deck looks right out onto that. The white sand beach of Waihi Beach, so absolutely gorgeous. We had a sneak peek in the cabinet on the way out and I didn't look before I sat down at the table, but the cabinet, the the custard slices are this big. They're huge, oh. and the brownies are massive. So I'm going back for coffee and cake to Flat White next I time I go. I'm pretty sure that my auntie had her 60th birthday there. I ah. checked that one out. That was, it was definitely there. Uh, there was a cafe, though, at Waihi Beach that did really well in the Cafe of the Year Awards, didn't Yeah, it? yeah, that's right, and it's called the Surf Shack. So this is where the two ladies opened up this gorgeous rustic place. It's by the airfield, and they've actually picked up the People's Choice Award by collecting the highest number of votes. So it's renowned Ooh, for its own style of extreme Kiwi sports, so the best a belly busting breakfast served on a 36 centimetre platter and it also does its famous pancakes stacked salads as well and the owners say that they make the best home ground burgers in the world so yeah definitely one to check out the surf shack oh, it sounds delicious and i guess also if you want to get away from the beach for a bit you can go into the gorge can't you cut a hockey gorge is really nearby. yeah absolutely so i've done that a few times now it's our go-to with the kids and biking the falls retreat is an excellent cafe there that we went to last time we were there the cycle track because it's an old railway trail it's pretty flat and yeah. you've got this really cool tunnel to go through as well i believe it's the longest railway tunnel that you can go through in New Zealand so take a wee torch you don't really need your torch but torch is always fun for the kids so yeah, it's a really great place to go. Hey yeah. sounds good thank you so much for that Debbie. No worries.